Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans. What's going on this trip, Young? We are back. Another quarantine TV edition of Real Fans, Real Talk. It's been a good week, man. We had, we had a lot of fun, a lot of things going on in the sports world. But uh, bigger than what's going on in the sports world is what's going on in the world. Um, and you guys know that we've been on our charity run for a couple of years now. We support numerous different charities throughout the year. Uh, but one of our favorites, of course, is Balling for Peace. Uh, shout out to Haran H2O Hargrave. He has been putting on a show for... Some years now has been, you know, and, and we've been working together with Haran trying to push that peace message. So it's always a pleasure and an honor for us to pull up to any Bowling for Peace event. But it just so happens that it was right here in the Bronx, the first ever Bowling for Peace softball game, excuse me, soft celebrity softball game with Team Bowling for Peace going up against the NYPD. But uh, this is someone who is no stranger to, to, to Real Fans Real Talk. This is his first time in the studio, though. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, H2O, what's going on, man? Welcome back to Real Fans Real Talk, my brother. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, it's a pleasure to always be here. You know, we've been grinding. We was talking about that off offline for, mm -hmm. since, like, 2011. That's what I mean, saying. I remember I came in there for uh, that. Uh, we were supposed to do, like, a Spider-Man uh, audition that I was mm -hmm. for the movie or something like that. Um, yeah. when he was working out in Harlem. Facts. And I met you, um, and Facts. then we just and I told you about the my Queens Week event that I had going on, and um, mm -hmm. we had uh, you you pulled up, you know, and the, you know you told me about the studio when you was in Lehman College and everything like that. Facts. So Facts. it's Facts. it's been a while, man, and um, the you know, journey. people don't like crossing that bridge having to go to Queens like that. You know? uh, yeah, <laughs> man. So you know, you you did it, and then you know, so we finally did something in the Bronx. So, but um. Real fans, real talk. You know, what I mean, it's been great. You know, and I'm, I'm I'm happy that to be back. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. Um, let's 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 just jump right in. First of all, um, you you always seem to bring the celebs out that the people want to see. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about about the the people that came out for this event. We had a lot of hitters, some yeah. rappers, some some actors, and of course, NYPD was out there. But talk yeah. to us about the the celebs that pulled up. Um, well, first and foremost, thank you to all, all of the people, all of the celebs, all of the, you know, just, uh, my vendors and, and just volunteers and, you know, uh, everybody who was involved in helping with that message. And, um, uh, shout out to the celebs, shout out to my boy, my son. I saw him out in Houston. I was mm. out in Houston. This is how, you know, it, you just connect the dots. I saw him in Houston at the, um, trade, trade, trade weekend, trade day weekend. Um, uh, the rapper out there, um. Trade Trade the Truth had okay. his uh, his weekend out there in Houston, a very big event. I saw my son, I saw Gilly the Kid, and all them dudes that I, you know, and people don't know this about even with Gilly. I had Gilly on my. I used to do a podcast way back in the day called the Madhouse Radio Show, and okay. Gilly was on my show back in 2012. Mm. You know what I'm saying when he was still getting after it, and um, so I saw my son out there and everything, and I told him like, yo, I'm I'm gonna be doing an event out. Uh, out here in um in the Bronx, you know, celebrity softball versus NYPD, just like that. He said, "I'm gonna be there. Count me in." You know, so um, my son was out there. Shout out to him. Shout out to Fat Boy uh, Izzo. You know, that's Fred the Godson brother. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, shout out to him for pulling up. Shout out to uh, you know everybody who can. K Goddess. Shout out to uh, Daniel Gene uh, pulling up. You know everybody. My boy Mr. We Outside, famous mm -hmm. Mike. Uh, on star, on star, man, bro. Like Hold you up. know, what I mean, I really wanted the the Bronx to be known too. Had racks, um, you know, I had them locked in, you know. So I wanted the Bronx to be, you know, Oom P. Um, I'm yeah, sorry, um P. Shout my out man, Oom um P. Shout out to Oom um for coming out Oom Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, but my vision with that was having, you know, uh, artists from the Bronx. It was my first time doing an event in the Bronx, and I wanted the Bronx to really like represent. And um, they came out, man. They came out. They definitely did. Shout out to the Bronx, man. I, like I, t I told you, you know, before we uh, jumped on, on, on to record, you know, I was just surprised because of COVID. I didn't know <laughs> how many people was going to come out and, and, you know what I mean? But they they showed up and they showed out. Um, 
Shout out again, shout out, shout out to Mice and OMP. Those are those are, uh, are also uh, real fans, real talk alum. Yeah. Um. So big shout out to to those guys. Um. Just man, it just it's it's so it's so refreshing, and I'm glad you did it. Just because we needed something, you know. COVID has been taking everybody, you know. what I'm saying yeah. on and just just it's it's been it's been one of those years, you know. what I'm saying like we just there was so much loss, um, and then even you know coming out of COVID with things opening back up. There's so much stuff going down in these streets, man. There's so much uh, gun violence still going on. Yeah. Um. You know. So just to have something, in in the message, is peace. Yeah. And uh, and and that's what we're pushing. And, and it was a peaceful event. Everybody came. 100%. out. It was nothing but love. Like you could feel the love. You could feel the yeah. energy. Uh. You know, surrounding that 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 baseball mound. Um. Now we we got to talk about the game though. Uh, oh, we could we could talk we could skip it, over the it, actual game. No, we game cannot skip over bit. the game. This is real fans, real talk. We got to talk about the sports. Yeah, I know it was it was, it was a tough uh, game, Haran, and I know you guys are <clears> used <throat> to winning. You guys, you know, you upstaged them in football. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got them in football. But baseball might not be your thing, Haran, because you definitely individually you gave up. Some runs when you took over as as pitcher. I didn't want to bring that stuff up, you, let, this, but this, this is real I, fans. I, I, talk. I, we got to talk about it. Real fans, real. T- this is what I'm gonna say. I did my job. Which like definitely would, a couple I, hits like I, they would hit the ball, pop flies. It would be up in the air, pop fly. I, I actually, so I'm not gonna name any name, but someone took their glove <laughs> off and threw it at the ball, like. You know what I mean? It was no. Easy. You got to you got to name the name on that one. And I'm not gonna name the name. It's a ch- it's a charity event. It's, it's a charity event, but I'm not gonna <laughs> name the name. And then I had people ground balls going right through the legs, and just it was you know. Well, all right. So here's the thing. In this situation, yeah. All right, and and one thing I will say, I think that baseball is probably the or hardest. Uh, oh, excuse me, softball. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's the it's the hardest sport to kind of. Just transfer over to like even if you're an athlete, you could 100%. you know you can be a top guy, you know what I'm saying, in the NBA and the NFL and still not be able to hit a baseball. One hundred percent. So I will I will give you guys that. And then on the other side of that, the NYPD they, they had you know, some real athletes. They, yeah, they they, 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 they see, I didn't, and, and, that, and that's what I didn't do like this time. <laughs> like, you know, I usually mix my team up with, yeah. when I'm playing basketball games. I get some football players and stuff like that. Um but this time around I just uh you know, we you know a lot of people wasn't around, so I didn't want to just. Uh, we haven't done one in a long time, so I didn't want to leave out the celebrity and call it a celebrity event and have yeah. a whole bunch of like you know just uh, baseball players. You got to next time. You, yeah, I got to mix it up a little you bit. Go to you go to dr. Yeah. Or <laughs> pr and you go you know. I'm gonna get Derek <laughs> Jeter out of retirement. Yeah, because you, you know got you got to get. And some I'm gonna get actual, Mariano Rivera and yeah. stuff. Because you got to think, at the basketball games, right, you got yeah. actual hoopers. 100%. You know, pro ballers, you know, yeah. whether they play overseas, NBA, I college ballers. Yeah. I you gave them the benefit no, of the doubt. Exactly. I didn't at least even have baseball players. You sh- what you should have at least done is get you a pro or a pro level pitcher. Yeah. And then everything else could have kind of panned out because, no, you know, nine out of ten times, they wouldn't be able to hit off them anyway. Northside Ruga is actually, he's really a good uh, softball player, man. That guy is pretty good. He played with us as well. He, he was like... All over the field, he was like Ken Griffey Jr. for us. And stuff, yeah, but that was know? only one guy. I know, you know, yeah. you know. And um, then I haven't played since high school, so it was like it's, it's tough. But it, I look good out there. I Listen, did. the uniforms uh, look really good. Thank um, you. Shout out to Wooter. That's, I about to say that's Wooter again. Shout yeah. out to them. They always do a great job though. One hundred percent. But we we make the designs though. Okay. Okay. So, so it's shout a, it's out to a, yeah, shout out to my boy Thomas uh, Till. He he actually. He doesn't like the you know any pub or anything like that, but he's been making the bowling for pieces designs. He's actually the one who uh, switched the logo. Mm. Uh, year four, okay. And when we switched the logo and went to the piece dove and and yeah. everything, and and it's it's more commercial than what okay. we had it before. We used to have to low key switch up the logo every time we had an event because we had the basketball. We put. He's like, no, like you know how like Nike is one logo, yeah, and that's, and that's it, and and, that's and, it. and and we actually been able to have more success uh, commercially with um with just having our logo, and I love our logo. Logo is really dope, you know. Yeah, no, definitely jerseys are tough. I almost I had to restrain myself because yeah. you know a lot of people don't notice I had to hold down the jerseys. Yeah. Before up until the the game, I almost started. I was going to open up an account and start selling them because I know how good the jerseys <laughs> look and I know people are bottom Yo, People was asking. They was definitely asking, man. That's something I got to, I kind of got to do a little better job at that as well too. I know that for myself, you know, but um, I did this event. I was away. I've been, you know, new, 
yeah. the little update. I I started working with Nike as well too. I'm a, a national camp director with Nike, so I've been traveling okay. uh, around the nation, you know, um, with Nike. And I literally got back just the day before, like the night before. Yeah. The event, so a lot of that, you know, I, I, I commend my team for helping out with, you know, picking up stuff from stores and certain things. Or, uh, Wooter getting me those uniforms in time. Like, I literally did this event in, like, two weeks. And that's and that's the thing, you know, people don't realize how important having a good team yeah. around you is. So, big shout-out to the entire Balling for Peace staff, everybody that came together to you, make you know. Balling for Peace work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole big thing because everybody got to do their part because even, you know, we got to do our part because as media, you know what I'm saying, like, we still got to do our promo. We got to get our coverage and then start putting stuff out. Yeah. Um, you know, shout-out to, the, I mean, there's so many different <laughs> media outlets that were represented yeah, yeah. At, at Balling for Peace. But that, you know, get it so, out there. Hurry up. Push the footage, man. Yeah. 72 hours. You got to get that stuff out there or people forget, yeah. you know, um, the engagement with the, the page is definitely going up, you know, and that's what we like to have. But we want to continue to grow throughout the years as well, too. You know what I mean? Not just when we do events. Yeah. yeah no, ab absolutely. Because yeah. um, there's, there's so much uh, going on. Talk First of all, because you just you just dropped dropped the bomb. A lot of people don't don't know. Talk to me about the work um, that you're doing with Nike right now. Talk oh, so me. yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> that was that was pretty big. It was just you know, shout out to my my boy Terrence. You know, um, I met him out. I was out at the DL, okay, uh, in uh in, in Lower Manhattan, and one of my boy, Mister Network, he had uh, introduced me to a dude who worked with Nike, and he was telling me all about the the stuff that I do and everything that I have going on and. Uh, you know, he looked me up, he like he played division one ball, plays overseas and you know, he street ball legend, like you know what I mean? And he runs camps and clinics, work with the Knicks, mm -hmm. all this other stuff, you know, running down my resume. I was like, Yeah, that was a great introduction, bro. But um and the dude hit me up, he like, Yo, I'm a um I'm a, I'm gonna call you. I want I'm, I wanna work with you. Yeah. And, you know, like sometimes people blow smoke up your butt and, and and that's it. Like so he actually uh you know, like a month later he hit me up and um we we went out for ramen. He hit me up and go out for ramen and stuff like you know some weird, like let's go for ramen. So we went out for <laughs> that is that weird. for ramen random. and like it was a nice spot, like you know what I mean. But it was like ramen, so I was like, <laughs> all right, cool, like whatever, whatever it is, bro. Like so we went out and um, you know he told me about it, told me a little bit more, and like yo, I want you know, and we gonna make that happen. So he said, what's the schedule? I'm like, all right, this is my schedule. Put it together. Yeah. And we just started going from there. And the first time I went was uh, Louisiana. And I went out there in Baton Rouge and uh, started my camps with stuff. And I was already traveling before that, but it uh, kind of gave me more of a purpose to do it. And, um, like, so I'm one of the national uh, direct, uh, camp directors with Nike, and I'm going to actually start doing more out here in New York so okay. I don't have to travel as much. Was that either. your first time in Louisiana? And Baton Rouge. Baton, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was my first time in Baton Rouge. Matter of fact, was it my first time? I don't think I ever went to Louis. Nah, that was my first time. So that was cool for me. You know, I love exploring different places as well. Do you do you like the travel more or <laughs> would you rather be... I mean, I know you, you work with kids all over the place, but mm -hmm. I know there's also uh, that's a special connection when there's kids that's from where you're from. Um, I love kids all over as well, too. Like from every... every it doesn't matter where you're from. You know what I mean? The work is the work. And I actually love to be able to uh, meet and, and grow with people that don't know me or yeah. aren't familiar with my work as well, too. So it's actually a blessing to actually have, um, to be able to have certain people that you don't know actually get to know you and you impact them. So I, I'm more with the international, like national uh, movement. You know, I don't have to just be in New York because, you know, I've done a lot here. Yeah, you know, it's actually good to have other people be blessed by by me and my spirit as well. Absolutely, because you know? because again, you know, the, you you got skills that you want to yeah. spread out throughout the, throughout the world. You know, and and you're a great teacher of the game of basketball 100%. as well. So yeah, we got to We got to We got to kind of say that you yeah, got yeah. opportunity. That's a big opportunity. Yeah, uh, to man, be working and, with Nike. And I, I think it is it's huge that you know Nike. You know, I I always wear Nike. I love Nike as well. Anyway, so. Um, to actually work with them and actually, you know, I'm going to be able to move and shake and try to get them to actually do some stuff with Balling for Peace, maybe some sneakers and uh, add to our scholarship and stuff like that as well, too. But this was actually my first time, like, you know, doing this work with Nike. And it actually got me back into the coaching and training stuff again. You yeah. know what I mean? I actually kind of went away from all of the basketball things that I'm normally doing 
but it kind of got me back into that grind with uh, training and coaching the players and stuff. And actually, you know, I'm actually playing a little bit more as well, too. So because of it. Does this officially mean that you are done playing and you're going to focus <laughs> on training and coaching or are we still going to going to see you out hooping? Um, well, I'm I'm still hooping. You know, what I mean, I I don't do it as much, at, or as often. But when um actually during the pandemic, um you know, it's still going on. But during the height of it in New Jersey, I, I was working out a lot more. Being in Jersey, okay. Um, we we're doing shout out to Problem, uh, Aaron Problem, the Williams, uh, uh, Team Nine One Four, inviting me to private runs and stuff like that. Um, and the Jersey culture, they have me. I actually play more basketball when I'm not in New York. When I'm away and I'm in other states, and like you know, shout out to um, Astro Hoops out in Houston and in uh, Austin, Texas. So I, I actually play a lot more when I'm on the road because I, I, when I'm in New York, I have it's I can't do I, I do a lot of things. So yeah. like my mind is all over the place. I'm I'm more on the work grind and mode. But when I'm doing camps and stuff, I, I'm when I'm done, I go to my hotel, I go to the gym, and I work out and I and I play. Like I just you know that's what I love to do. And I used to. I used to sit back and think like, yo, what what was I used to doing before with my time? I was hooping. I was working yeah. out. And, and um, so when I'm in New York, it's just a little hectic for me. You know what I mean? So um, now I'm out, you know, like we was talking, Naya was talking earlier. I'm going to just play, play until like, you know, I, I, yeah. I physically can't do it anymore, you know, because there's going to come a time where I, I can't do it anymore. So, so might, as well. might as well get as much as I can out of these these knees. <laughs> so they got at least, and they got at least one more summer with you at Hoops in the Sun because you are actually yeah. playing in Hoops in the Sun yeah, uh, yeah. right now. Shout out to uh, Joe and uh, Randy over at Hoops in the Sun. Yeah, man, they're gonna they're gonna get H two O for you know it's it it'll be like certain levels of playing. You know, I don't you know getting older, you don't want to never get washed. Yeah. You know, so like for me, I, I like to if I can't do it, I'm not gonna be out there in them games. Like I'm not gonna play in Dykeman anymore. Yeah, like I know I'm not gonna play in this a one on one game, and I'm not. I don't. I got that's you. not my game anymore. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm more of a team. That's why I like hoops yeah. in the sun because it's more of a pass and cut and screen and really mm-hmm. like teamwork and stuff like that. I like what's fourth. You know, I play in there as well too. Um, I'm gonna play tomorrow on Les and Lower East Side. Okay, six forty five. So at the end of the day, like I pick and choose when I play now, especially in these tournaments. I got you. I got yeah. you. Really quick. Um, before before we get out of the get out of here. Um, just talk to us about what's coming up mm-hmm. next uh, for for Balling for Peace. Yeah, so what's what's be gonna be next is I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on in, in in the world. You know what I mean? I was able to squeeze in softball and um have that going. You know, I after talking to a couple of people, we were like, you got to do something. You know yeah. what I mean? You can't just sit. You know, even though we did a lot, we did a lot with our donations. We actually became a full fl- fledged five hundred one c three. Balling for Peace used to be under the umbrella of H two O basketball, mm-hmm. and we were the charitable division of H two O basketball. But now we're our own full five hundred one c three. A lot of wins that we've had during this time, we are actually on the charity board of New York, the whole New York, so we can get donations from everywhere now, like any yeah. city council member. Any, we're up at the top of it because you know B A ball in for peace, like you know what I mean. So we're on the top of the list. So that you know started our uh, e commerce during this time and everything. Okay. Like it was a lot of things that we weren't doing, but now that we're doing, and that's why like it's it's seeming like it's you. even yeah. even bigger. I know the the energy of it when it's happening. Like it's always good with these events, but like the energy is different. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's something you could pick up on as well too, but um. With with that being said, um, our next event I want to do the basketball game. I'm gonna do uh the flag football, um, back to school supply drop, and I wanna I wanna get a basketball game in. I wanna do the. Uh, so you wanna get a basketball game before the year is out? Before the year is out, man. Okay, I'm are just, we going I'm, back to Brooklyn Bridge Park I, I, for football? Or? Football, Brooklyn Bridge Park. We already been in talks with them. Okay, uh, we're gonna do that again, and then um, I just love the view. I, I'm a, no, I'm, it is. I love the creativity. Like even like when I'm thinking about stuff when I was doing softball. Why would I have it anywhere else but with yeah. Yankee Stadium? It, it, in the it was it was actually yeah, it was perfect location. Yeah, again, same same thing. You know, with with, with the football game, just perfect locations. Yeah. the ambiance. Is ambiance amazing. is everything, man. And um, you know, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do gonna put this basketball game together. I've been already in talks with St. Francis College and stuff already. Okay. Um, so we're gonna jump back there. St. Francis is Brooklyn. Downtown, That's the one Brooklyn. downtown Brooklyn, yep, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Or um, we we were talking to um, Manhattan College. You know okay. what I'm saying as well too, and and uh, Fordham University. So um, we'll we'll see. 
You know, but um, I want to. And we'll be talking about the dunk contest too. Once, oh, yeah. once everything is in order. Oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. We, 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 you know, usual suspect. We bringing everything ex- back, man. Exactly. We gonna we gonna do it up. Yo, I want and I want to hit get a home run derby too. Um, moving mm, forward for the, uh, the softball yeah, game. Yeah, you gotta stuff. do that. We are gonna do all that, all right, man. We, we, like we, we might have to sponsor that one too. Then. Yeah, man. We get a home run derby, get Indio champ in there, or something oh, like my that. <laughs> That's not even fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yo, um, you know, I I, I always come. Men, you guys, you know, since day one, you know what I mean? It was almost like yeah, you guys were like my personal media, you know, for Ball yeah. of a Piece, you know what I mean? So uh always make the, the message and the announcements here first, Um, you know, and for you to continue to keep going, what you're doing for all these years, almost a, well, it's a decade now, you know what I mean? Yeah, going, getting there, getting there. We, yeah. got, we got about another year, so. Okay, you know what I mean? We so same, we, but yeah. But yeah, you know, we've been right ro- ro- rocking for a long time, grinding for a long time. So stay tuned for what we got next. It's gonna be uh flag football. Also gonna do the basketball game, depending on how this COVID thing, you know, uh yeah. looks and stuff. We were gonna do the game in Atlanta. I was gonna have mm. the game in Atlanta. We had the school all put together. We we're gonna do it the same weekend that uh DJ Envy was doing his stuff as well too, the car show. Okay. But um the school denied us right at the end. Um. So with these, uh, you know, these some, protocols, some, some man. bigger and better is coming. That's yeah, all. yeah. These protocols, but my team, I love my team, man. I love the group of people. Shout out to Wendell Thomas, everybody. You, you know, what I mean, everybody who rocking with with balling for peace, man. I appreciate you all, and we're gonna keep it coming. We're gonna keep going, and we we will be the number one charity organization in the whole world. I mean, that's what we doing. Make sure, make sure you guys are following at Balling for Peace. That's the number four, not uh, F O R. That's the number four. H. Uh, follow me, H two O five. That's the letter O, not zero. Balling for Peace. Go to the page. You could donate. BallingforPeace.org. dot um, org. We're still accepting donations as well for uh, our Uganda brothers out there. We have the uh, Pair Baseball Foundation that we've actually uh, partnered up with and going to be uh, sponsoring them. Uh, giving them all like the bats and gloves and, and the baseball uh, balls that we got from our last event, uh, sending them some gear and everything. Um, that's going to be a partnership that we will have for a while. We also started our Balling for Peace scholarship where we'll give one boy and one girl a basketball particular scholarship. You know love what it, I mean? Love it. But that's what we, we're going for. There's so many other sports out there, but we're, we're starting with basketball. You know, so um, I mean, that's where it started at. Yeah, got, that's what, so that's what we're doing, and we're very specific. A lot of these uh, charity groups, there's, there's uh, tons of charities. There's charities that you ride your bike. You know, five I mean? uh, yeah. k. It's charities where you know you better green. You're growing plants. Our message is peace through sports. So we uh, live heavily on the sports side, and um, yeah. that's our way of giving back. You know what I mean? You know, so that's what it is. Bowling for peace. And you guys have been doing a great job at that. Please make sure you guys are in the loop at H205 for Haran and at Balling for Peace. Remember the number four. Uh, with that being said, though, for myself, Trip Young, and, of course, the family is in the building, Haran, H20, Hargrave. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. Real talk, we as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course. Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk, reporting live from the cam. High in demand, so please stand by if you can. What we got is worth a lot, so put a tie on your plans. On court, talking sports through the eyes of the fans. With Trip Young, Emma Marie, Eric Sanchez. You heard what I said, we elite. Check the latest topics and stay ahead of the beat. Sing your topics and uh-huh. we ahead of the Yo. streets. It's Johnny Floss, bringing a different type of blend. Backing up Misfit to make sure y'all tuned in. You gotta watch, this show is one of a kind. Updates on your TV screen from 8 to 9. For the older folks, so even if you're younger, no matter what sport, this show, we got it covered. It's filmed live in the middle of BK, so ain't no better sports show to watch on Thursdays. What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie, and be sure to check us out on the web at RealFansRealTalk.com.